You're watching News 19 Daybreak with Dustin Lukey, Candace Price, and meteorologist Alyssa Triplett. Daybreak continues right now. Good morning and welcome back. Well, the long anticipated Holman Area Community Center is now open under certain restrictions, of course. And this morning, the center's new executive director, Jacob Hart, joins us with a look at how it all is going to work. Jacob, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me, Dustin. It's great to be here. Well, the facility there in the former Festival Foods location, kind of on that main drive through Holman, is beautiful from the outside. People can experience it a little bit from the inside, it sounds like, and you've got a lot of outreach programs. Can you tell us what all is going on there at the center? You know, this, the building is beautiful, and, um, you know, DBS construction and design team, they did a fabulous job uh, with the construction process and the design interior and exterior, um, you know, staying on schedule with everything. So I got to give a shout out to them and, and all of our third parties uh, as well throughout that process. So far at the center, um, we're at 100 members. And currently uh, what we're offering is um, an interior uh, program at the center uh, via walking. So um, our walking area in the gym is open actually every weekday from 6.30 to 10 a.m. Uh, folks can sign up on our website for a one hour shift to walk, much like the YMCA, uh, where you got to sign up and you come in and um, we have a procedure uh, for, for uh, COVID restrictions as well. And you'll get to walk uh, during the mornings. And we offer some hybrid programs as well. A couple of our fitness classes are taking place in the dance studio here in person. Um, and a couple of our smaller topical programs are taking place both um, uh, for a small number of folks uh, in person as well as virtually. Uh, each Wednesday, uh, we're over the next three Wednesdays, we do have a baking class that we're offering uh, featuring different items that uh, will be held virtually and you can purchase a kit for. Uh, so that's great for families or anyone who's interested in, in trying out their baking skills. How can people get involved? Memberships, it sounds like, and volunteering opportunities as well. To sign up for a membership, all you got to do is go to the website or again, call us or visit with us in person. Um, and it's a it's a nominal fee of $60 for, for an individual for a year as an adult or 55 for a senior. You can also sign up for a household membership, uh, which is two or more folks, and you can get a discounted rate there as well as an adult or a senior. All of our volunteer opportunities are also on the website. Um, you can volunteer with us from 8 to noon on a Monday through Friday if you want to be answering phones or maybe answering some questions or helping folks register for either a membership or a program. Uh, you could also volunteer to um, work the front desk for our morning shifts, um, 6.30 in the morning, we're here. Uh, welcoming guests into the walking area and you can volunteer uh, for that as well and volunteer opportunities are always going to be available here at the center especially as we get more programs uh, but for now it's a lot of front desk coverage a lot of answering questions in the community a lot of community outreach and then helping me uh, with different tasks as we as we continue to open up now we've talked about how this is a multi-generational facility uh, you offer a lot of services for older adults but are working in conjunction with the boys and girls club there as well how does that all fit together this is really a trademark you know this is kind of a very unique um um, system here where we have this community center that you know is primarily designed for for you know older adults adults and senior programming uh, but is really intended for anyone of any age to come in and then we do have the boys and girls club on site as well in the building and so uh, right now that partnership looks like um, really uh, meeting a lot between the directors here and trying to figure out what we can offer intergenerationally in a safe way right now. And we're really looking forward to offer some intergenerational programming, uh, primarily when it's safe to be here. But, um, you know, anything from offering meals over at the Boys and Girls Club uh, to, you know, um, uh, holiday programming, uh, connecting the youth of the community with the seniors in the community and really just providing that safe and comfortable space to do that. Something that will likely continue to grow as you can offer more and more and as you become more established in the Holman community and beyond. Uh, it, great to see the doors finally open there at the Holman Area Community Center. Again, we'll have the link on our website, WXW.com. Jacob Hart, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right, thanks a lot, Dustin. Have a good day. You too. Alyssa, over to you. Well, thanks, Dustin. And here we're tracking that there are going to be some several chances to mix in some wintry precip, but will we likely see it? I'll have those details after this short break.